basically we are trying to get the digit sum of 14 so say for example i have this number 68 now let us add the digits of this number 68 so what will you get you will get 6 plus 8 see this is equal to 14 next 176 again add the digits of this number 1 plus 7 plus 6 again this is 14 next 545 see again add the digits of the number so here we have got the number itself here digit sum digit sum okay so two columns over here so you add it 5 plus 4 plus 5 what is it it is again 14 now note that this is a two digit number whereas these two are three digit numbers okay so similarly we can write other numbers say for example 239 again you add the digits see 2 plus 3 plus 9 this is again 14 isn't it now i can play around with this number see 2 plus 3 is 5 right so i can distribute 5 as 4 1 and then so the number is 419 again add the digits see 4 plus 1 plus 9 equal to 14 so this is how we play digit sum now so i have written just two numbers here so this i have talked about now we are going to do this very interesting thing smallest number whose digit sum is 14 and again we are going to find the largest five digit number whose digit sum is 14 okay so let us start Now, students carefully observe this. Okay, so till now we have considered the type 1 question which is digit counting, right? Okay, and we have considered 2 digit, 3 digit, 4 digit, 5 digit and all that. And now we will consider, we have considered the type 2 question which is basically your digit sum of numbers we are considering this now i have already written 239 419 another such numbers where the digit sum is 14 so after that we are going to consider these three very interesting questions together first is what is the smallest number which digit sum is 14 next again largest five digit number whose digit sum is 14 and if we are talking about largest then the question is how big a number can we form having the digit sum of 14 can we make an even bigger number so that's the question okay so now students what we are going to do is for this part this three parts one two and three i am going to consider two digit three digit four digit five digit six digit and so on so i'm going to generalize this problem okay now let us start with the two digit one okay so this is let us consider two digit numbers where the digit sum is 14 now you see there are only five such possibilities such possibilities so only five numbers are existing say for example 59 68 77 86 95 see for yourself you see the digit sum in all of these cases this is 14 and now you can already see what is the smallest number here so this is the smallest right and what is the largest number see this is the largest number okay now Another very interesting thing to note is that for the smallest number, the large digit 
out of the possible digits 0 to 9 the largest digit 9 is here whereas for the largest number the smallest possible digit is here 5 such that the other place can have the largest number and their sum will be 14 okay so with this important thing to observe let us consider three, dig three digit number okay now you see this is our we start with the smallest two digit number which is 59 right now i am considering again nine for the smallest three digit number and in case of the first two digits what i am going to do is i am going to write this 5 as 1 plus 4 see and in this way i am getting 149 there are other possible numbers as well say for example again 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 again 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 so these are all other three digit numbers where the digit sum is 14 but this is the smallest okay so in this case this is how we are getting the smallest number so the, our smallest number two digit number is 59 and our smallest three digit number is 149 okay now for the smallest four digit number see what i am doing is that i am again considering the nine largest digit over here and i am doing this something like this see i am distributing the other digit sum to five so here what i have done is one plus zero plus four is equal to five this is what i have done again 59 this 5 I have distributed like this so that I get the smallest number okay remember all of this is done so that the digit sum of 14 we get now we can also have other numbers but they will not be the smallest say for example I can also have this 9 over here and this number see this is also 3 plus 1 plus 1 this is also 5 even I can also have this number see 3 plus 2 is again 5 this is also a 4 digit number where the digit sum is 14 but this is the one which is the smallest okay so this is the smallest 4 digit number fine and similarly I can also get your smallest five digit number and again the smallest six digit number you see so i am basically using the digit zero here and here i have put the smallest possible digit after zero so that it becomes a four digit you see if instead of one zero four nine i would have put something like this zero one four nine do you really think this is a four digit number no this is basically one forty nine which is a three digit number so I have not taken this okay so this is how I have built up the smallest numbers so 59 149 1049 10049 and 10049 which is the smallest six digit number now after that let us consider again the smallest but this time with different digits there will be no repetition among digits this time so you see we again start with 59 over here next 149 smallest different digits next 1049 again different digits right but after that things will be different see after 1049 i have to again distribute something like this see what i have done now i cannot take 9 over here because if i keep on putting 9 i cannot have different digits okay so i have this time put 8 in this place and i have rearranged it such that the larger digits is on this way okay see 8 3 2 1 see again the sum of all these digits is equal to 14 8 plus 6 is 14 see so this is the trick smallest five digit number however if i keep on doing this you will see i cannot get a smallest six digit number having different digits whose digit sum is 14 so there is a limit in this case we can keep on doing this but for the case of different digits 
only up to smallest digit exists only up to five digits after that it does not exist suppose you are not convinced let me write some number say for example i am putting here five next i can write something like this three next i can write two next i can write zero next i can write say four one what is the sum the sum is five plus three eight nine ten see this is fifteen not fourteen okay i have to get a digit sum of fourteen see yet another way if instead of eight if i put seven over here then i put four three two one then you will see the digit sum is 17 not 14 so this means that we cannot have this number again i am going to show i am basically showing you that smallest six digit number with different digits just does not exist now to find the largest number let me again come back to the two digit possible five numbers and remember this was the largest two digit number 95 okay so largest two digit number two digit number was 95 right similarly now what i am going to do is i am this time this nine will be on the left side largest number so this time i am going to write like this which is the largest three digit number these are all largest numbers two digit number largest three digit number c it is 950 again what is largest four digit number c 9500 where the digit sum you see 9 plus 5 14 9 plus 5 plus 0 again 14 again digit sum is 14 so i can keep on doing this okay i can keep on doing this so this is the largest four digit this is the largest five digit this is the largest six digit again that is nine five four digits okay so this is how i can get okay so i have to put nine the rule is i have to basically put nine in the largest place value so see nine i am putting in the largest number this is the rule this is the rule in this way and here only five was there after that i have to put all zeros here and here nine so this is how i am getting the largest number where the digit sum is again 14 now again just like before i am writing largest with different digits which is 95 next again i will write 950 okay but which is the largest three digit number again this is okay but after that what i am going to write is like this 9 again 9 will be there 4 1 0 see what i have done i have again distributed 5 as 4 plus 1 so 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 this is what i have done okay similarly the next largest number will be your 0 1 2 3 8 see see the addition 8 plus 3 11 12 13 14 again digit sum is 14 but luckily or unluckily you can say this is where the story ends so why because six digit number does not exist so this is the largest number we can have with different digits say for example let me write it say i write 0 1 2 3 4 5 as a six digit number now just see the sum of these digits 5 plus 4 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so the digit sum is 15 see so we are not getting the digit sum of 14 okay so i have just shown you that only six digit numbers does not exist all the up to five digit numbers exist okay